Okay, so I'm going to do a comparison between the Triumph, Triumph's own official diagnostic software, uh, TuneBoy, and good old freebie uh, Tune ECU. So this is just a comparison of how it reads. If I go in here to uh, sorry sensor data, and I go into sensor readings. You notice the barometric pressure is about 740 millimeters of HG, whatever that is, um, which is a little bit below atmospheric. Now I'm right beside sea level here, but we'll compare that to uh, two and by in a moment. So I'm going to function test, sorry, adjust. Throttle position sensor adjust. Okay, so I'm going to press go. There we go. 0.58 to 0.62, I'm getting 0.58 more or less bang on. So I'll hit OK here and hopefully it'll be on the green when I hit it. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to do the idle stepper motor. So I go. It's supposed to hit about 0 0.60 as well. It's in the middle of TPS recovery at the moment, so there we go. Same, exact same again, 0.58 on the button, toggling back and forth between good and bad, and now I have to get 0 0.70, which I have exactly, 0 0.70. Funnily enough, that asked me to go from 0 0.60 to 0 0.70, as opposed to tune by and tune ECU, asked me to go up by 0.12 of a volt as opposed to 0 0.10, which tune or Triumph recommends. So, adapting now, ok to finish, and she's done. Ok, so let me close that down, I'm going to unplug. Here, this little fella, with the Triumph guy, made by, ok it's not there, but it's made by Actia, XS, I think is the series of it. So. This is now to an ECU. This is my 10 euro cable. Which I hope will work because to an ECU has become lazy as of late. Uh, one. Mm, welcome to my filing system, everybody. Okay, to the ECU. The latest revision here. Now, work you bastard. Thank you, Alan Fontaine. There's a little light down here now. If I can get him to go green, I'll be doing well. Bear with me now. I would normally cut all this out of the video just to speed things up, but I just want to show everybody. Now the Triumph software starts up immediately, no messing around. Now it takes a few seconds to connect as well, but only a few seconds, and it gives you a little, uh, not an egg timer, but a loading bar, so you can tell what's going on. So hopefully this will give me the green. Come on, you bastard. Now it should be noted at this point that I have a fully charged battery, and which is reading 12.2 volts, according to Triumph software. According to my multimeter, I get 12.8. In fact, I should get more, because I have it on charge at the moment, and the charger light is showing green, so it's fully charged, not drawing any amps. Of course, the ignition is on, so it, it is drawing amps right now, but it's not, it's more or less drawing straight from my electricity and not from the battery. So yeah, this is to an ECU. It used to be very reliable and connected up pretty quick, but these days, I don't know. Any moment now I'll get an error saying can't connect.
Das ist ja fair. I'm not connected, but I am connected. Feel free to skip forward on the video if you like. to shut down these days. I might try the old version. Just for the laugh. I'm going to give this a moment now and Switch bait and hit the tune boy. Tune boy and tune ECO always reads exactly the same in my experience. Anyway, I was just hoping to illustrate it here. And show that there we go. Good old 2012. Right, let's go in here and see what. Uh, oops. Let's see what we got. Parametric here is 988, so that's 250. Wait, that's if hectopascals converts to mmHg. I must check that. Anyway, there's the difference. Uh, 16 degrees temperature is the same. That's of the air. The engine temperature is not there. That was 12 degrees coolant temperature. Where's my battery? 12.2 volts, same as the uh, Triumph software. So, we're going here to tests. Just the ISCV. Oh, sorry, double click. Yes, I am sure. So I got 0 0.59.60. And 7.3. Okay, I swear it was 0 0.72 before. But anyway, it's 0 0.70 on Triumph. So again, I'm just showing you the difference here. So I'm going to go with that. Action in progress. Don't touch anything for 15 seconds, that's what she said. Okay, excellent. So we'll get rid of you. Eventually, I'll plug this. Move on to Tune Boy. Now, this is the original cable which I had to buy off the internet. I have also in my ownership the new Wi Fi cable which never got to work. Um, a good friend of mine over in the US has it at the moment, well for the last few years, hopefully he'll send it back someday. So, but with his help and with the help of uh, another guy, what the hell is his name, I can't remember now, it was a few years ago, but with their help I managed to get this tune by finally working after about five years of having it, after paying for it. And it just turned out to be cable drivers were not up to date. So we've got 12 and 16 degrees, which is exactly the same as Triumph. Let's go to my sensors, see what we got. Battery voltage 12.2, same again. Now we're going to run a test. I'm going to reset the ICV, and you will see that there's a different. This is the same as 2 ECU, but different than Triumph. So there you go. 595, 600, that's pretty good. 
725, 730, that's not too bad, it was 725, 720 the other day, but that's exactly the same as uh, Tune ECU. So it's doing its thing. Yeah, crew set adaptions. Tune ECU doesn't ask me to do that. Nor does Triumph. Okay, good. Right, that's the end of that chapter. And that is the comparison between ISCV and TPS voltages on Triumph's own diagnostic software, Tune ECU, the 2012 version at least, and Tune by.